Berge, Land am Strome, Land der Äcker, Land der Dome. Hello, my soccer viewers. Yes, a short change occurred because we have lost in this video, and so I'm of course wearing a last shirt. I chose my all white one from 90, fall of '98, and for a good reason, as we will see. I don't think it's a classic last look, but we'll see about that. Uh, again, if you've seen the previous uh, three videos, you know already how I've chosen it. If not, here it is. I took last season's rankings, standings, then I went for the four videos, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on. And everyone with the number four is in this last video, which means Lusk, Wolfsburg, and Austria Klagenfurt. I think I call them Klagenfurt. And then I order them alphabetically. So we go Klagenfurt, Lask, and then Wolfsburg at the very end. So let's start with a newly promoted team from Klagenfurt. And I could tell you loads of stories about soccer in Klagenfurt. It's not a happy story at all, but it is good that another um, province capital like Klagenfurt, who has a really, really, really nice st stadium, uh, is uh, playing here. I also want to note that there is, and this was purely by coincidence, there's a certain connection between all these teams. Uh, Klagenfurt and Wolfsburg are both from Carinthia or Kärnten, which is the southernmost province of Austria. And weirdly enough, the European games of Lusk are all played in Klagenfurt. And they are all kind of the center band uh, in the Austrian Federation. So they are kind of the kind of middle. So it kind of fits nicely together. I couldn't find any uh, such connection with the other teams that we had so far. But at least the last video makes in a way there's a connection between all of these. Austria Klagenfurt plays with Capelli shirts. Very, very interesting. I think the only time I reviewed Capelli shirts were in one of my first Champions League jerseys jer jer when I think I Athens had Capelli shirt. So, very intrigued by that. Uh, Austria Klagenfurt, like Austria Vienna and uh, Austria Salzburg, play in purple, not Austria Lustena, who for some reason play in green and white, which is Rapid Vienna. Go figure. In any case, uh, they take the purple and add pinstripes. Looks really nice, I have to say. And what a uh, surprise, surprise me, they don't have a main sponsor yet. So, while the pants and the socks are full with sponsors, there are not too many added. Yes, the sleeves get a little bit sponsor heavy, but by itself, it's a decent shirt. It's a decent shirt, I actually like it. I would give this eight stars. Uh, away shirt, for some reason, it's the same thing, just color flipped. It doesn't work for me as much as, as, as the purple shirt does. Uh, I don't know why. So I'm gonna go seven. If you see it in the league configuration, you see, yeah, there are sponsors added, but no main sponsors, which kind of keeps the design a little bit clean. Yes, pants sponsors are an issue in Austria. Uh, yeah, all over. All over. Um, there is, even on socks, you get sponsors. In Austria, there is no space wasted for sponsors if you can put them on if you need the money and we will see another example a little bit later on uh, we're moving on to my team Lusk who came out with these boring boring home shirts yes there are sponsors on there uh, it is not as wild as it could be uh, although in league configuration I gotta say it uh, pants and some that's yeah, just some stuff not quite uh, nice. Now, uh, what is the weird thing is that, you know, uh, the sponsor BWT, they haven't uh, released a pink shirt yet, which um, I think they're a little bit reticent to do so because of fans not liking it, but I'm sure there will come a pink shirt as well. But so far, they only have the home and the away released. In all white, this is my least favorite last look. I always like stripes, uh, and that's why I'm wearing the white white one because this is the it's not the last time the last was we're playing in white, but when they were playing in white, most of the time they're playing white with black pants, which is just about acceptable to me. This season they're playing in all white. Are we Real Madrid? And they did this also last last time in 998. Um, this here. That's a classic Lask shirt, that's a 65 remake. That's a classic Lask shirt. That here, that's a Real Madrid knockoff. 
and I don't like it. Uh, it is just uh, a little bit black. I mean, give me at least some sort of, use some pinstriping. It's just bad in many ways. It's one of the worst last characters I've seen recently. Uh, they have a little bit black on the side, but uh, that is one. <sighs> yeah, unless they become champions, but that is one that will not be added to the collection. I can uh, tell you for sure, um, even though, yeah, three stars. Much better though is the away jersey, which initially was just black, but then for some reason they added the white pinstripes. And again, self-produced, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that took out a little bit of color, but not too much. You still have the BWT there, uh, which is also worn this way in the league. It just moved around a little bit to accompany the league logo, which for some reason is not sold on the away shirt. I don't, I don't know where. But I have to say the white pinstriping makes this shirt immediately more appealing. And I wonder, couldn't you have just gotten black pinstripes on the white shirt? I think this one looks nice. I mean, it looks not so great on the picture here, but if you look at it in match, I think this is a very uh, nice Lask jer jersey. What I don't like in the home home jersey, you only see it a little bit here on the picture, is there the pink BWT logos here on the sleeves, which look a little bit odd. And the white jersey also has a little bit pink up top, which, yeah. This one. I, it's not perfect, I'm not, but I like it a whole lot more uh, than the home jersey. I'm gonna give it seven stars. I'm not sure about the cut and this kind of cup of um, you know copying kappa. I promised you sponsor. Let's go. Let's go to Wolfsburg, uh, who had actually a decent showing in the Europa League in the past few seasons. This season, I think they didn't even call. Uh, they didn't. Yeah, in the playoffs, they almost they, they are not all on the Euro Europa League this season. And for some reason they decided, okay, let's go with grey instead of having white. I mean, last let's in the white with a, a green and red band, which actually looked nice. However, with all the sponsors, you don't really see it. Now, you wonder, what's the brand? The brand is San Siro, not Siro, with one R, with double R, which is an Austrian brand, uh, where you can go and design your own soccer jersey and have everything sublimated. There's nothing printed on it, it's all sublimated. Um, for that reason, I always have been uh, intrigued by San, by Wolfsburg jerseys because how many San Siro jerseys will you get? However, this one is uh, really dropping the ball. I mean, it, this is another black and white team and they go with gray, which is my least favorite of all colors. Uh, there are only a few gray jerseys that actually work, I gotta say. And then sponsor, 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 sponsor here. Sponsor on the side, then you have the main sponsor, which actually gave this uh, red and green band on the last season's jersey. And then, you know, in between sponsors, it is just a mess. Two stars. It's not a great shirt. The away jersey in light blue is better. Really better, although it looks... I was always thinking, is Lusk using San Siro but not the branding? I don't know exactly how they produce their jerseys because, I mean, it's a very, very similar template. I gotta say it's all kind of this, also this a little bit more stretchy material that they have. It is better because the color is a little bit more vi vibrant. Still, sponsor, 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 sponsor. I'm going to be lenient and give this a four-star rating. And there you have it. All Austrian Bundesliga teams, all their home and away jerseys, reviews for the first time. I'm now going to go uh, into other leagues and I will do how they started. So probably the next one uh, will be League because uh, I think this uh, there are quite some interesting shirts in there as well. In any case, I would like to know how many teams in there did you actually know? Which shirts did you like in there and which ones you didn't? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!